going to show you how we can get Walter started with drop. I'm going to start without anything in his mouth for him to drop. I'm going to say the word and then I'm going to drop food on the ground for him to eat. This is going to teach him that the word drop predicts food scattered on the ground. That way, when we start working with objects in his mouth and we're putting the food on the ground, he'll be more likely to let go of the object and eat the food. Drop. First I say the word and then I drop the food. I don't even want to reach for the food until I've already said the word. Drop. I'm dropping several treats and I'm pointing them out to him. I have my hand nearby. That's so that when we start working with objects in his mouth, if I need to take it from him, then I can. Drop. Drop. You notice I'm not using the clicker because there's no particular behavior that I'm trying to mark. I'm just pairing that word drop with the food.